I was new in town and had just found a new job in the local diner. I didn't mind the late hours and plus it was extra money for me to buy the latest computer games and style I wanted to buy. I loved shopping, so as I worked in the diner, I just felt happy about getting my wage pack on Friday. I hopped on the bus to get my bus ride home, and as I got into the bus, I spotted a creepy looking guy sitting in the back. It was late and I was on my own, but at least the driver was on the bus with me, and this creepy man also. It wasn't just me and him. I felt weird still. I felt like the guy's eyes were piercing through me, even though I couldn't see him. I just tried to relax and enjoy the bus ride home as much as I could in this strange situation. I then told myself, wait, I'm just on a bus with a weird looking guy who is probably harmless. Nothing has happened. I looked behind and felt a shiver run through me as I could have sworn he moved up a seat closer to me. I couldn't be sure, but when I turned around again, I knew for certain, as he was right behind me, sitting in the seat, smiling with such a sinister smile. I turned around and ignored him, and didn't look back. When I got home, I could see my dad's paper resting on the sofa, and I got such a fright when I saw the same creepy man's face staring up at me and reading the headline it said, the man had been killed by a bus on the exact same bus route I took. I had then realised the man who was on the bus with me was a ghost. Thanks for watching The Assassin Rapper, and if you want to stay up to date on new content, then please subscribe and be sure to hit the bell to be notified on new content. Robbie was really upset on Halloween, listening to his friends talk about going to the Halloween party that was being held in his friend's Richard's house. The party was expected to go on all night as his parents were out of town and it was just him holding fort in his house. Robbie just stood there with envy, listening to his friends talk about it. Richard said to his friends, This party is going to be amazing. We can party all night and there is going to be loads of drinks and everything. Ye guys better come early so we can make the most of my crib being parent free. Robbie was invited to the party, but unfortunately wasn't allowed by his mom. Most of the people going to the party were dressing as one of the most popular costumes of the year, which was from a new internet craze from a very popular movie that just was released, called The Clown of Halloween. The Clown had no name other than The Clown of Halloween. Robbie loved the character until it had become the reason he wasn't allowed to go to the Halloween party. His mom got a call from the local cinema one day who had told her he had snuck in to see the Clown of Halloween movie. Robbie's mom was very religious and grounded him instantly and of course didn't allow him go to the Halloween party. The next day when Robbie's mom was listening to the news on the radio, she was glad she didn't allow him go when she had heard the newsreader say, Last night at approximately 10.30pm, a lone gunman entered a Halloween party in Woodsbridge town and opened fire killing only people who were dressed in the costume The Clown of Halloween, which is based on the new horror movie and internet craze The Clown of Halloween. The gunman or gun person was apparently wearing the outfit of The Clown of Halloween also. That night Robbie's mom heard something out in the garden. 
and caught Robbie burying something in the garden. She froze when she saw that what he was burying was the costume of the clown of Halloween, which splattered blood all over it, and next to it was a gun. Thanks for watching The Assassin Rapper, and if you want to stay up to date on new content, then please subscribe and be sure to hit the bell to be notified on new content. Joe was out trick-or-treating with his friends and two brothers and sisters. They went out trick-or-treating in the daytime and kept going until it was dark. Joe wanted to have a Halloween party, but his dad wouldn't allow him, so himself and his two sisters and brothers had their own party in the kitchen table when they went home. They were showing their dad all of the candy they received. Joe's dad, Jack, gave each of his children a candy-coated apple and wished them a happy Halloween. Joe ate his apple and the rest didn't get a chance because they were so full. It was getting late and suddenly Joe felt sick. The ambulance was called and unfortunately Joe died hours later. Joe's autopsy had showed results of cyanide poison and later were found in the apples that the rest of the family didn't eat. It was later revealed that Joe's dad, Jack, had purposely given his five children poison after taking out a life insurance policy on each one. That was a sick plan for having money problems. Thankfully, the rest of his children didn't eat the poison. Jack was sentenced to death by lethal injection. Thanks for watching The Assassin Rapper, and if you want to stay up to date on new content, then please subscribe and be sure to hit the bell to be notified on new content. Michael was trapped in a world that he knew he had to leave. It wasn't exactly a frightening, threatening world, but he knew it would be on the 666th day. He didn't know exactly why, but he knew with every fibre of his being that on that day his whole existence would end. He kept looking for a way out. He walked for what seemed like days and days through forests and all he could see for miles and miles were trees and more trees. Until he reached something else. Something more strange, something different every time. There were magical kinds of beings, insects and horses etc, even unicorns, but none of them were threatening. Still he lived in fear dreading the 666th day in this world. The sky changed colour on different days. Some days there were even multiple moons in the sky and various planets close by could be seen. It was day 665. Michael was in a high security room in a sanatorium where he had been since he started counting the 666 days. He was in there for his own safety. Since he had been locked up, he seemed to go downhill, especially in this room. The doctors couldn't understand why. They heard him scream over and over different times that he was going to die on the 666th day in this world. The doctors knew of course the room was empty and there would be no objects in there that he could hurt himself with. On the 666th day, Michael was watching what looked like the Grim Reaper 
float up to him. Within seconds, a rope came around his neck and hung him. The doctors outside the room were in shock when they saw what looked like an invisible force lift Michael off the ground. And it was like an invisible rope hung him. By the time they entered the room, he had died. He was just floating in the air. And when they eventually did get him down, what they saw on his forehead sent a shiver down their spine. When they saw six, six, six carved into his forehead. Thanks for watching The Assassin Rapper, and if you want to stay up to date on new content, then please subscribe and be sure to hit the bell to be notified on new content. Sharon was always scaring her little sister Nora with different stories about monsters. One night Sharon purposely lost track going home and made sure they ended up having to walk through the graveyard. When they were walking through the graveyard, Sharon was telling one of her fabricated stories to frighten Nora. She was telling her about a monster that haunted the graveyard they had to walk through and that the monster always made its victims get lost before they ended up in the graveyard. Nora was crying over one of her stories one day and her mom was mad at Sharon and said angrily, Sharon, don't be frightening your little sister. You're meant to be nice to her and care for her, not scare the living daylights out of her with one of your silly stories. It was Halloween night when Sharon got a piece of her own medicine. She walked into a room and saw a monster floating in the air and she knew it was no costume and it definitely was no trick. She froze and then ran telling her mom and dad. Her dad of course didn't believe her because all the stories she always makes up about monsters. Then her mom walked into the room and what happened next made Sharon freeze in fear and is what made this Halloween her scariest Halloween ever. Her both parents turned into monsters right in front of her eyes and they turned back to like they were before. She was speechless. Her dad said, Sharon, your little sister isn't ready to know the truth yet, but for some reason since we came to Earth, you always were curious about monsters. We are viewed as monsters by humans, so we have to keep it a secret, but I'm hoping your obsession with monsters will end now that you know the truth, and nature will teach you how to deal with how unique you are. We don't know anyone else like us, but we came from another planet. With that, Sharon woke up sweating, thanking God it was just a dream. It seemed so real. She promised herself she would never ever tell another stupid made up story about a monster ever again to her little sister and to anyone for that matter. Suddenly her sister walked into the room and had a story that was a monster story and one that was true and one that frightened Sharon to the core and it ended with Nora saying I'm not afraid of monsters anymore Sharon because all our family are monsters and with that Nora changed into a monster <laughs> Thanks for watching The Assassin Rapper, and if you want to stay up to date on new content, then please subscribe and be sure to hit the bell to be notified on new content.